What is up, ladies and gentlemen? You see, that's right. I'm Chris Smith, and today I'm going to be talking about the X Files, season ten, episode three. Let's get this thing started. Stay to the end and watch the whole video. Yeah, there it is. So let's talk about the plot. If you didn't know the plot, here it is. Okay, so basic plot is Molin Scully. They look for this monster that's pretty much killing people in the woods, and that's pretty much what it is. Now, this episode I thought it was real fun and funny episode because they actually managed to not take it too serious. This is more of a comedy episode, and they've done some in the past. Some failed, some didn't. Um, but I thought this was actually one of the better ones, particularly because uh, it, it was nice to kind of see them just relax and take this, not take the material too seriously, because obviously that type of thing could get a little bit heavy on an actor, and it was nice to see them kind of play around. Now, this episode, they didn't really, you know, uh, even though it's a comedy episode, they never they never really uh, sacrificed the characters. Like, it, they did something so out of normal of what they've been doing for the previous years that it didn't seem like the same people, but they still kept, kept to the characters. And uh, it was there. Some humor does fall a little bit flat, but the banter of Mulder and Scully is still there. Uh, Keneal Najani, if I said his name right, I think he's the park ranger, dog trainer, whatever he is. Uh, I thought he was uh, good in the episode, uh, and he's a little bit misunderstood. Uh, but by far, the, the standout is like Reese Darby, which uh, plays the monster. I thought he was real great in it. Uh, the first time I saw him was in Yes Man. Uh, he knocked it out of the park there. He was funny here. He brought a bit of humanity, and they kind of touch upon that in uh, the episode. You know, just felt like an everyday man, even though. Uh, they do have some of a story um, when it comes to, like, the, the previous events. This is more of an Inside Fans uh, episode. If you know what Inside Jokes, you get it. The Like, I, I really enjoy Mulder's uh, ringtone, you know, obviously the X-Files theme. Uh, there's a lot of Inside Jokes, and if you've seen the stuff, if you've seen the series before, you'll obviously get it. Um, but, yeah, I thought Reese Star Reeves was probably the best part. Also, you know, Jillian Anderson in that, uh, that porno bit or whatever you want to call it was just, you know, it, it proved that Jillian Anderson is still, or not still, she's she's better now. She's better looking now than uh, she ever was before, I think, to me. That was, you know, that, that's like a rewind EVR scene. But, uh, you know, I, I like I said, I thought this episode was real fun. They didn't take it too seriously. Uh, some negatives that I did have pretty much was that, um, you know, they, the creature design did kind of look a little bit shitty, particularly for me. I thought they kind of looked almost like a Halloween costume. I think that could have been done better. Also, I thought the weird Norman Bates guy, you know, the, the hotel manager was doing his best Norman Bates. Uh, that was all over the place. And particularly, this, this was a fun episode, but it was very irrelevant to the story. It really didn't carry anything over. I'm just wondering, when are they going to get back on track? Because they got three episodes left. I hope they kind of stay where they get back on track, mainly because... You know, they got three episodes left. They, they can't really waste time here. This These these were nice episodes. This was a fun episode and the best of the season, but they, they got to step it up. This was, like I said, it was a fun episode, uh, and it was a bit of like a Scooby-Doo episode, really. Uh, I, I shit you not. Towards the end, I was expecting somebody to say, you goddamn meddling kids, Mulder and Scully. Um, but, yeah, that's what I was expecting. It was a fun episode, and there's nothing really much to say about it. The nice inside jokes, the humor pretty much lands. Uh, Jillian Anderson is at the top of her game, though Scully's not really in it too much this episode, but uh, it didn't really affect it. I, like I said, I, I thought this was a fun episode, and the humor hits. You know, it was nice to see them kind of relax. Um, but yes, comment, subscribe, and like. Subscribe. Signing out.